this is going to be the last part <laughs> to my complicated hearts. What came out of the kiln? Um, my molds are okay. Great bottom line. They're awesome. But I wanted to show you some of these. I'm loving them. They need a little bit of work. But look at that dichro going on there. So I'm going to do some cutting, polishing, grinding. But I absolutely love these. I love that one. That's like a caged heart. Look at that one. Definitely a complicated heart. Aren't all hearts complicated, though? That one's super cool. And look, there's a little marine bit in there. Um, I did make a cross. Now, this cross, something wild happened with that. A piece of the metal actually embedded itself in there. I, I like that. Show you some more. Oh, and this one, my uh, chalk that I put here, you can see there's a little bit of it still there. Would have made the hole, but the glass sucked over to the side. So this, the glass didn't stay on. But, oh, that one is so cool looking too. I just love them. I love them all. I love when, how you hold them here. They look one way and you put them up to a light source. Totally different. This guy came out super cool. He has um, a cool piece of dichroic in him too. Her, him. Whichever. And I love this one. And I'm not cutting this up. I just want to show this to you. This one, I really love this. This piece here stayed to the side. I'm just going to do some grinding on him. Make him perfect. And I did some teeny tiny little ones too. I like that one. That one came out super cool. And I did a shamrock that I love. The shamrock came out super cool. And then I just did I did some shapes. This one is going to be this little mold. This is going to be draped down over this. So it's going to make, I'm going to actually drape it this way. It's going to make a tiny little bowl with this cool little fluted edge on it. It'll look so neat. I'll do a video about that. But look at the dichro in there. That's going to be at the very bottom of the bowl. I am happy. I know I said it was a fail, but it's definitely not a fail. Look at that. Too awesome. Uh, so if you do fuse glass, we do it here at the studio. I'm addicted. I love I love the stringers, all the cool little bits, the little mirini. And we're going to be making it here in the studio. I'm so flippin' excited about that. I want to have lots of cool things for people that come here to take workshops to make. Love it. Not a fail.